My first memories of music are certainly with my mom. She was playing the Beatles and Bob Dylan and Stevie Wonder and, and, and records like that in the house. So I really grew up listening to that and just digging into those records myself when I got old enough to handle them on my own, you know. And my, my dad also played guitar and was very into music. So they had a pretty extensive record collection, or at least a, a diverse and interesting record collection. You know, they had a, everything from the stuff of that time, you know, Dil Dylan and all that. And, you know, but also like Miles Davis and, and Brahms and Beethoven, all in vinyl. And, and so I would just dig through those records and I found all kinds of good gems in there. Some old blues stuff, Mississippi John Hurt. Well, the earliest memory I have of actually attempting to play music, <laughs> I was about six, seven. My mom had an acoustic guitar there and um, I grabbed that guitar. And the kids in the neighborhood and I got in the garage and, you know, this little girl made a drum kit out of, you know, coffee cans and stuff. And I had the guitar and we just fashioned what we could. I, I ended up playing um, or getting a guitar when I was right after I turned 11, getting my own guitar. But my father had a 12-string ovation and that was really the first thing I played on was this 12-string ovation. And uh, I continued to play the 12-string for quite a while. <laughs> I discovered the guitar and, and I forgot about everything else. It, was, it wasn't even like I made a decision or thought about it. It was more like there was no choice at that point. Like music is what I was going to do it was, and that was it because it was all I cared about. I was obsessed with music. All I wanted to do was play records, play guitar, you know. My life just had a purpose. That was it. That was what I wanted to do. Certain realities set in when you leave home, you know what I mean? And, and I'm like, yeah, I'm a musician, this is what I'm going to do with my life. And then you get out and you have to fucking pay rent and buy your own food. You know, I worked as, you know, a dishwasher, line cook, worked in construction, you know, I did sheetrock, did sandblasting, I did, you know, demolition jobs, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. And then finally, you know, I got this gig with this top 40 band and that allowed me to quit the construction job. That, that was a turning point for me, to be able to like say, okay, now I'm, make, I'm actually making a living playing music now. I, I get paid to play music and I can actually pay my rent and eat food now. That was a pretty major turning point. You know, sure, we were doing all the things you would expect along the music, you know, drinking excessively, trying to have relations with females and all that stuff that one would, you know, get in the fucking van and, and go out there and maybe eat once in a while and sleep on somebody's beer-soaked floor, you know, and, you know, get paid your $22 and your free pizza and beer and, like, move on to the next gig, and that was pretty good life for me. I mean, it wasn't, I'm glad I'm not still doing that. But, but I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I went through. I mean, you're just the culmination of all your experiences and everything you've been through. You know, music is sort of the saving grace of humanity. And that's the beauty. You know, the cool thing about being a musician is what you're selling essentially is something that you truly believe in that and you think that you believe is also and know to be good for people you know that enhances the quality of their existence that's something they can that they might find inspirational or healing that is so much of what music has to do with for me it's like it is making that connection with people i mean i remember early on when i was first experiencing that live it was just so fucking it, it was such a charge man you know what i mean i was just like energized and just like transported somewhere else i was like this is fucking it man it does not get better than this you know and it was like my punk you know everybody's fucking sweaty and shit's fucking loud and you're smashing your guitar and everybody's losing their fucking shit and it's just like you know it, it doesn't get better than this i thought you know what this might be a pretty good life for me <laughs> Thank you.
When you were out there, like say sp performing and um, improvising, like where is where is that coming from? It's improvisation. You're you're spontaneously composing. You're creating music right there on the spot, right? So it's just like you're pulling it out of the ether, out of nowhere. It's like where is this coming from? Why is there a melody swirling around in my head? You know, or why did I feel like playing this rhythm? You know, I'm. Who's to say? It's like something that's already in you, speaking to you, or it's something that you're just grabbing out of the air that, that you're connected with. That is such a, a, a mysterious and elusive thing, like when you really think about it. It's a spontaneous expression, you know, you're just out there and this thing's going to happen once. Music is like, it's like my life force, you know, it's a sacred, elusive thing. It's my ultimate form of expression. I feel fortunate that I've known what I wanted to do, that it came to me and said, this is what you're going to do, let's play music. 